everybody, it's honest John again. Now, when the Republicans in Congress passed the Trump tax cuts, they were oh so happy. They predicted economic growth would rise to 5%, maybe even 7%. It was going to be amazing. There was going to be prosperity everywhere. Well, at the time they passed the tax cuts, the economy was growing at a rate of 2.9%. It's now growing at a rate of 2% and slowing down. If things keep going the way they are, we just might go into another recession. So what happened? Well, first of all, you have to remember that the richest Americans got 82% of the GOP tax cuts. The middle class got a little bit and the working poor got nothing. In fact, if you made under $70,000, your taxes went up a little bit. Now, tax cuts for the rich don't change their spending habits. They already have access to more money than they need, so it's not like they're going to go on a spending spree. If they want something, they get it. It doesn't matter about whether the tax cuts or not. They already could get anything they want. They already have everything they want. So they're not doing anything that's going to stimulate the economy. And the corporations, they got a huge tax break too, which they use to buy back stock and give dividends to shareholders who just happen to be other rich people. They did not use the tax cuts to raise wages for workers. Some people got bonuses, but that's a one-time thing. Now, it's true that around 18% of the Trump tax cuts did benefit the middle class, but that's not very much money being shared by a lot of people. So the benefit was pretty small, and with inflation at 2.9%, it did not produce much of an increase in spending power for the middle class. In fact, the spending power for the middle class went down because it's the summer driving season and the price of oil is rising as it always does and this was exacerbated by Trump's decision to pull out of the Iran deal so the price of gas at the pump is rising even faster than it usually would so there goes what was left of the part of the tax cuts that the middle class got <clears throat> in order for the economy to grow, somebody is going to have to start spending money. The rich won't, the poor can't, and the middle class don't have it. Now, it's just the fact that the rich have been getting huge tax breaks since the Ronald Reagan administration. And those tax cuts have always been accompanied by glowing predictions of massive growth and prosperity for all. But that has never come to pass. The rich have prospered, but not the rest of us. If there is one thing that has been proven over the last 50 years, it is that tax cuts for the rich don't pay for themselves and they don't create growth or prosperity. If you want to create growth and prosperity, you give the middle class a tax cut, you raise the minimum wage, and you increase funding for poverty programs. Those things have been proven to create growth in the economy and increase prosperity. But conservatives don't believe that. They believe that tax cuts for the rich create prosperity. And even though that's been proven to be false, over the past 50 years, conservatives never check their beliefs against facts. If they believe it, it must be true. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. 
One is to my Patreon page. The other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.